Some businesses downtown are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. A store near Clark and Madison here in the Loop has its window boarded up. There are reports that a number of shops will take the same precautions ahead of any potential problems during the DNC protests. And speaking of that, a group that plans a peaceful protest in March gathered at City Hall today to complain that the city is putting too many restrictions on their planned demonstration. Sylvia Perez has that part of the story. The group called the coalition to march on the DNC gathered at City Hall. They were out because they say the city is putting outrageous conditions in place when it comes to permits. The coalition says the city granted their permit to march, but then added some last minute restrictions that includes no stages or platforms, no portable restrooms or toilets, tents, canopies or sound equipment. They say their free speech rights are being violated. You're going to talk about the complicity of genocide Joe Biden and killer Kamala Harris in this genocide and we're we don't want you to do that and that is an egregious violation of our First Amendment rights and so immediately we filed an emergency injunction to keep the city from being able to implement those restrictions on us. An attorney for this group filed an emergency motion last night to prevent the city from imposing these restrictions. They say they have more than 200 organizations from across the country that have joined to march next week on the DNC, and they're also concerned the route provided by the city is not adequate enough for the large number of protesters expected. Sylvia Perez, Fox 32, Chicago.